One in three California college students face food insecurity, but new pandemic relief laws have made it easier for them to get help. As they return to campus this fall, ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at who's eligible for assistance and what local universities are doing to spread the word. Dustin Atkins remembers what it was like to be an SDSU student facing food insecurity. I used the food pantry and they were lifesavers to me because how am I supposed to study and focus on tests when I don't even know where my next meal is going to come from. That's why as a member of the school's economic crisis response team, he's passionate about helping students get their basic needs covered. And so these services are so crucial to our students to keeping them enrolled, keeping them going, and really just on a human level and a personal level, making sure that they know that they're cared for. Now more students are eligible for help. The most recent federal pandemic relief bill expanded eligibility so any student on state or federal work study, regardless of hours, and any student with an expected family contribution of zero dollars can get money from CalFresh. So this is opening up to thousands more students that can get benefits over $200 per month. That's why San Diego State is expanding their programming, adding staff and increasing outreach to let students know the rules. They're not alone. So we've seen a huge increase since the spring um, with double the applications. UC San Diego has done a number of events to spread the word, especially among graduate students. They're also using social media and hosting workshops to help students apply. So I would just encourage everyone um, who has any type of challenges accessing food to reach out and to apply and to um, just really take advantage of this. At Cal State San Marcos, an estimated 50% of students face food insecurity. The school recently tripled the size of its food pantry, added CalFresh coordinator staff, and sent targeted postcards to more than 4,000 students newly eligible for help. Students are no longer having to make that decision of, am I going to use my money this week for gas or my textbooks or my school supplies, or am I going to use it for my for dinner? They hope the extra outreach will destigmatize CalFresh on campus, getting more students to sign up as need and eligibility grows. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Now the expanded eligibility is temporary, but campus officials tell us they are hoping that the federal government makes the new rules permanent. And if you have a story that needs an in-depth look, send us an email, tips at 10news.com.